Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the inheritance of the Lord. Today we'll be reading My Bible Friends, Book 1, Chapter 3. Joseph's New Coat Joseph lived in a tent, a large strip tent, out in the country. Jacob, his father, owned many, many sheep. Joseph's ten big brothers herded the sheep on the hills around about. Joseph and little brother Benjamin took care of the lambs and had no mothers. Joseph and Benjamin fed the lambs from little clay bulls. They put their fingers down into the warm milk and let the lambs suck their fingers. The lambs tail wiggle waggled up and wiggle waggled down as they drank their milk. It was a lamb's way of saying, the milk is good and warm. It was springtime. The days were sunny and warm. Too warm for a coat. Joseph folded his coat neatly and put it away. He wouldn't need it until the chilly winds blew away again. The sheep were too warm in their woolly coats. Bah, bah, they called. We want our coats off too. It's time to shear the sheep, said Jacob. Joseph and Benjamin brought the clipping shears. The big brothers laid the sheep down on a cool green grass. Clip, clip, went the clipping shears. The sheep were as quiet as they could be while they were getting their wool cut. The brothers tied the wool into bundles and put it away. The sheep looked different with their woolly coats off. The lambs didn't know their mothers. They ran here, they ran there. They cried, Bat, bat, where, where's my mother? But soon the mother sheep found their lost lambs, just as Joseph and Benjamin knew they would. During the bright summer days, the lambs grew almost as big as their mothers. Joseph grew taller and bigger. Benjamin grew bigger too. By the time the chilly winds began to blow, the sheep had grown their new wool coats. Joseph went to get his coat, but oh, 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 his coat, his warm winter coat was now too small for him. Go bring a bundle of sheep's wool, said Father Jacob. We'll make you a new coat, a coat of many, many colors. Joseph brought a bundle of wool. He brought the colored pots. They colored the wool, red, yellow, purple, and blue, orange and green, and some they made black. They twirled the wool on smooth spinning sticks, and it made into fine wool thread. Jacob twirled, just Joseph twirled, twirled went the spinning sticks. Longer, longer grew the thread. Benjamin wound the wool threads in onto spools. Jacob wounded the frame with the wool threads, then in and out, in and out, through the threads. He wove a blue strip, in and out, in and out, when weaving shuttle. Green strips, purple strips, orange strips. Day after day, Jacob, Jacob worked until Joseph's coat was just the right size. Joseph tried on his new coat of many colors. It was long like a man's. It had sleeves. It fits you, my son. It fits you, said Jacob, well pleased with their work. It's a pretty coat, said Benjamin. It's a fine warm coat, said Joseph. Thank you, my father and brother.